Okay, I'm going to go through how to set up your account as a property manager. So once you get your registration email from Rentbook to confirm, you click on the link and it takes you through to the registration page. Obviously put in your username and a password. Your email address should be the same. Um, this is the email name you'd like to keep on your pass on your emails. Test account, um, real estate company, awkward real estate number, put your real estate license number in there if you have one, and your address. Um, street, I'm typing. Wales two four eight two set the terms of use and hit save. Now it says the account here is successfully created. Go to my home. First thing it says is if you want to get the trust account management functions, enter your bank account details and make it your default account here. So if you click on this link here, it will take you into the bank account, add a bank account, and this would be your trust account. Call that nickname, the BSB123456, and trust, and then the account number, and the account name is real estate. And click that this is a trust account. Now, if you do have an ABI export facility with your bank, um, we can put the details in here. We're not going to do that now, so we'll just save that account. And also, while you're at it, add your trading account, which is your management trading account for where the management fees will be transferred to. Mind you, Redbook does not transfer themselves. You still have to do the transfers yourself through the bank, again, unless you have an ABA export facility. So there's the account number for the trading account. And... Um, Days. This is not a trust account. So therefore we have these two accounts sitting in there and now we are ready to then start adding a property. Um, thank you.